In the field of science, the huge mysteries pertaining to what was prior to the enormous explosion have sparked mixed conversations and fascinated thinkers for quite some time. This enormous question tests more than just our ability to decode the universe, it challenges the very limits of human knowledge. Imagine yourself at the brink of existence, examining the colossal unknown, observing and pondering the contents that existed before our universe was imagined. The Big Bang, which established the beginning of all things, including time and space, poses a profound question. Were you there a moment earlier? In the past, there might have been a state of nothingness, a calm before the cosmic gathering began. And if that is accurate, perhaps there was something far more frightening that existed before the beginning of time. As we continue with this inquiry, we are taken on a journey beyond the boundaries defined by science. Insight into the beginning of the universe tests our conscious awareness. Physicist Brian Cox, well known for examining the wonder of the universe, suggests that surprises may have existed prior to the massive explosion. He invites us to reconsider our perception of the world and existence. In this investigation, we dissect theories, research, and dazzling insider information that could reveal what happened before everything else. We will explore ideas such as self-importance and growth, quantum alterations, dark energy, and multiverse. The responses we uncover may leave you paralyzed, or perhaps open new perspectives on our place in existence. Prepare to plunge into the depths of the universe, into a realm that defies imagination and science. Amidst the obscurity are scientists who remain in the shadows. We were shocked, sometimes even upset, as they investigated what preceded the Big Bang and the reasons behind these theories. Their work tests everything we thought we knew. To consider what might have been before the Big Bang, we must first meticulously examine what the Big Bang was. So, what was the Big Bang, according to scientists? It was the point in time when the universe became extremely dense and hot, rapidly expanding to cause the growth of all matter, energy, and space. When we look into the night sky, we find no boundaries. The night sky reveals evidence of this hot beginning, with galaxies expanding in all directions from a singular point. But why did this occur? Was there a time period prior to this blazingly fast start? According to the idea of massive expansion, there certainly was. And it wasn't a void or peaceful emptiness. It resembled a vast vacuum, cold, empty, and unorganized. Nonetheless, this vacuum was not entirely unfulfilled. It contained a tremendous amount of vitality that fueled the rapid extension of space itself. This phenomenon, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it laid the foundation for everything else. In a fraction of time, space expanded at unimaginable rates until the speed of expansion slowed and the energy transformed into matter, atoms, and the forces we now recognize. This is what we refer to as the Big Bang. But was this energy used for a specific purpose? Why did the universe grow suddenly, and why did it stop? Experts believe that this incredible expansion caused each patch of the universe to undergo its own Big Bang. Think of a fabric stretching indefinitely, forming tiny air pockets, each representing a universe, including our own. This idea, called the multiverse with inflation, suggests that there could be Big Bangs with no limits, an infinite number of universes. The universe we live in is just one of many. This enormous, perplexing reality challenges our comprehension of the universe as a whole. It leads us to inquire about alternatives to the concept that before the Big Bang was nothingness. Although it may seem speculative, it's not unreal. According to our current understanding, even if we remove all energy, radiation, and particles from the universe, it wouldn't result in genuine nothingness. Darkness fills the void of our universe, quantum fields and dark energy remain. Even in its emptiest state, the universe is embroidered with something. Quantum fields create a vacuum that can still produce new forms of energy. This perplexes experts, implying that true nothingness may not be possible. Space itself has constants, rules, and properties that prevent it from being truly empty. Imagine constructing a region with no particles or radiation, only quantum fields and universal constants. These would still exist, implying that even in non-existence, properties persist. For example, there is a phenomenon called zero-point energy, the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can appear briefly before vanishing, resulting in eerie, resonant movement, even in space that should be empty. This challenges our conception of a genuine void and indicates that yes, even before the Big Bang, something existed. Scientists are just beginning to comprehend this. One of the most astounding current theories is the possibility of timeless cosmological expansion. If inflation could result in our universe, it might continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes astonishingly high levels of inflation, 
with multiverse being created endlessly. In this view, every Big Bang is the beginning of another universe. Different areas continue to experience inflation, transforming into countless other universes. This cycle could theoretically never end. This leads to the idea of a fractal universe, each universe giving birth to its own Big Bang. Each is an independent domain, unaffected by others. This exhilarating yet harrowing hypothesis suggests a multiverse that never ends, with no beginning or end, just continuous creation. What if the actual truth is that there is no before or after, but rather a pattern of universes forming, evolving, and fading? Quantum field theory supports this view. The universe isn't merely a collection of matter traveling through space, it's a complex network of energy fields that connect everything. Even in their lowest energy state, the vacuum, particles can still appear and vanish, temporarily gaining energy and leaving only a faint trace of their presence. These virtual particles cast doubt on the very idea of emptiness. Imagine a void universe in which nothing exists. Remove all radiation and energy. Would you be left with true nothingness? Quantum field theory says no. Fields would still occasionally create transient particles. This constant movement in a seeming vacuum implies that the universe does not recognize our idea of emptiness. Forces continue to fill the universe with hidden energy, preventing total inertia. This realization prompts an intriguing question. If fields produce particles, could the universe itself have emerged from this void? Dark energy, an unknown force driving the universe's expansion, may have existed before the Big Bang. Some theories suggest that the dark energy we see today is a leftover from an earlier field. Its presence hints at a mysterious force that may have contributed to the birth of our universe. It could be the unseen creator of inflation, even the trigger for the Big Bang itself. As we explore this possibility, dark energy becomes more than just a shaping force. It may be the key to understanding the multiverse as a whole. Another theory, cyclic cosmology, offers a replacement for the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning. In this model, the universe undergoes countless cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. This idea, that the universe is part of a never-ending cycle, forces us to rethink everything we thought we understood about creation. Instead of searching for a starting point, we may need to accept that the universe is a loop, forever unfolding and reforming. And if time is part of this cycle, then what we perceive as before or after may not even exist. It may all be one continuous, repeating reality, with no clear origin. But this raises another question. If the universe has always existed in some form, cycling through endless transformations, where do we fit into this cosmic narrative? Are we simply a fleeting moment in one version of a universe that has been born and reborn for eternity? Or are we the beginning of something new, an era of awareness, where intelligent life can finally ask, why? Some scientists go further, proposing that consciousness itself may be fundamental to the universe, that awareness is not just a byproduct of evolution, but an essential part of the cosmic framework. If that's true, then our questions about existence aren't just philosophical, they're central to understanding the universe itself. Perhaps the universe needs observers, beings who can perceive, reflect, and search. In that case, what came before the Big Bang might not just be a question of matter and energy, but of perception and potential. We may be the eyes through which the cosmos begins to understand itself. Could it be that before the Big Bang, there was not nothing, but potential, a boundless sea of possibility waiting to manifest? Maybe we're not just passengers in this cosmic story. Maybe we are part of its authorship. As we venture deeper into quantum theory, string theory, and the concept of multiple dimensions, our understanding continues to evolve. Some of the most radical ideas suggest that what we experience as reality is merely a shadow of a more complex, higher dimensional truth. In such a reality, the Big Bang may have been just a ripple on a higher dimensional surface, a small echo of something far grander. String theory, for example, introduces the idea of brands, multidimensional objects that could collide, creating bursts of energy, like our own Big Bang. According to this ekpyrotic model, universes are born not from singularities, but from the crash of cosmic membranes in a higher space. It's a theory as poetic as it is mathematical. Two brands, drifting silently in an unseen dimension, collide, and in that instant, time, space, matter, and energy are born. In this view, the universe may have had no true beginning, just a series of interactions in a larger, eternal structure. It's humbling to consider how much we don't know. But it's also exhilarating. Because the more we learn, the clearer it becomes. The question what came before the Big Bang, is not just about the past. It's about the future of science, the limits of imagination, 
and the courage to seek meaning in an infinite cosmos. And maybe, just maybe, the true answer isn't in the stars or in the equations, but in the unrelenting curiosity that drives us to ask the question in the first place. Existed in some way other than our early concepts of time and existence. Waves of gravitation are another intriguing concept that may or may not hint at what happened before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves from the Big Bang are specks in spacetime, the result of a massive cosmic event. Scientists believe that early stage waves, if ever found, might reveal new understandings of the universe's earliest moments. These waves might serve as reminiscences of the past Big Bang. If they can be identified, they could provide evidence of the universe's previous states. The possibility of discovering gravitational waves in their early stages is one of the most intriguing options in contemporary cosmology, as it may not only expose the truth regarding the Big Bang, but also provide a glimpse of the universe's state prior to the birth of our own. Theory presents a tempting possibility, detecting waves of gravitation that could act as traces of an earlier Big Bang universe. As we keep looking into what could have been present prior to the Big Bang, we investigate ideas that push the limits of our comprehension, putting at risk even our most fundamental presumptions regarding space, time, and self-existence. Mind-boggling ideas come from everywhere. One of the most radical arises from the study of quantum gravity, which aims to meld general relativity and quantum mechanics. This merger may or may not expose a single theory of everything and could provide insight into what existed prior to the quantum Big Bang. According to quantum gravity, time and space are not continuous, smooth entities like we experience them, but rather hidden granular structures. This theory suggests that the space-time fabric itself could have originated as a result of a structure on the microscopic Planck scale, with tiny quantum changes shaping the universe in ways we do not yet comprehend. What we perceive as the smooth space-time continuum might be an illusion. It's possible that time only emerged from these changing quantum fields, resulting in a concept of reality prior to the Big Bang that is completely different, one in which time and space themselves lacked completeness. Another possibility is that the universe is part of a vast cosmic landscape filled with potential universes, each with distinct physical characteristics. This theory, based on string theory and its laws and constants, holds that all fundamental particles are in fact extremely small strings that vibrate. Within this framework, there are numerous configuration options. Each string configuration represents a different set of physical laws. The string landscape might suggest that our universe is only one of many, each emerging from a distinct Big Bang-like event. This landscape also suggests that other universes might exist with different strengths of gravity, or even various kinds of matter, in different dimensions. In this perspective, our universe might not be unique, but part of a collection of universes called the multiverse, each independently developing. The multiverse theory offers a hypothetical yet intriguing answer to the question of the universe prior to the Big Bang, another universe, arranged differently, possibly leading to endless cycles of creation and annihilation, without a definitive origin. In addition to these, some theoretical models of the cosmos have also considered the role of black holes in determining the character of the universe. A growing hypothesis suggests that our universe may be the result of the formation of a black hole in another universe. In this scenario, the singularity at the center of a black hole could be a gateway to another universe. The Big Bang, in this view, was the beginning of our universe, birthed from the singularity of a long-dead black hole. This hypothesis is bolstered by the fact that, according to general relativity, the singularity at a black hole center is a point where the space-time curve becomes infinite, creating a region where the established rules of physics may break down. The extreme conditions within black holes may result in the development of new universes. This may indicate that our Big Bang was merely the birth of a universe from a collapsing star in another dimension. Exploring these concepts requires a deep investigation into the nature of time itself. Some cosmologists believe that time, as we recognize it, might not have meant anything prior to the Big Bang. If so, then there might not have been a before in any standard sense. This viewpoint suggests that time itself might have emerged from a fluctuation in the quantum world, or from an initial state in which the common distinctions between past, present, and future did not exist. This could force us to reconsider causality itself, which is predicated on the idea that events take place in a straight temporal sequence. If time did not exist as we know or experience it, then even considering what preceded the Big Bang becomes absurd, there would be no temporal framework to support it. Theories of cyclic time, as previously mentioned, posit that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, development, and eventual demise. In this model, the Big Bang could simply symbolize the most recent swing in an infinite series of cosmic cycles. Each cycle might not be identical, 
they could differ in various directions, each with unique physical properties. In this view, the universe is an ongoing process without a true beginning or end, rendering the question of what happened before the Big Bang meaningless in conventional terms. The notion that time might be cyclical implies that each Big Bang could follow a contraction phase, where the universe relaunches itself in a never-ending loop. Another avenue of inquiry into the nature of the cosmos suggests a primordial soup, a dense and fiery liquid of fields and particles, that existed before the formation of galaxies and stars. This idea proposes that before the universe's rapid expansion, it was overflowing with elementary particles, quarks, leptons, bosons, all in a state of extreme energy. At such high densities and temperatures, these particles would have interacted intensely, establishing the foundation for the formation of matter and energy. Some versions of this theory suggest that this early particle soup existed in a realm governed by quantum foam, where particles continually appeared and disappeared due to the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. The properties of this soup may provide insight into the universe's beginnings, and by extension, into what may have preceded the Big Bang itself. The world before the Big Bang remains one of science's greatest mysteries. As our understanding of quantum cosmology and fundamental physics improves, new hypotheses will continue to emerge, offering increasingly complex and sometimes paradoxical explanations of a universe that we may never fully comprehend. Still, the search will continue. The desire to understand what existed before the Big Bang will always drive human curiosity, pushing us toward the boundaries of the known, and perhaps beyond. As science ventures deeper into the realms of the unknown, the boundaries between physics, philosophy, and metaphysics begin to blur. What once belonged strictly to speculative thought is now finding support in mathematical models and indirect observational clues. The question, what came before the Big Bang, is no longer dismissed as meaningless, instead, it's becoming one of the most compelling puzzles of our time. Some theories point toward a pre-Big Bang quantum vacuum, a state of near-nothingness, yet brimming with potential energy. In this framework, the universe emerged from a vacuum fluctuation, a temporary change in energy that gave rise to all matter and space. This idea aligns with the notion of quantum tunneling, where the universe could have jumped into existence from a prior quantum state without violating any known laws of physics. Other hypotheses propose that our universe may be just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam. In eternal inflation models, inflation never truly ends but continues infinitely in some regions of space, creating countless bubble universes with different physical properties. Each bubble could represent a universe with its own Big Bang, its own laws of physics, and potentially even its own version of reality, forever inaccessible from our own. This model suggests that our universe's Big Bang was not a unique event, but rather one of countless births in an eternally expanding multiverse. In this picture, the before might not be a time, but a different region, a parent space beyond our comprehension. Still more radical is the suggestion that time is not a fundamental element of reality, but an emergent one. If time emerges from entanglement or thermodynamic entropy, then it may have no independent existence outside of our universe. This would imply that before the Big Bang is a concept rooted in our human perception, but not applicable to the true structure of reality. And yet, despite all these sophisticated models, we remain limited by our observational tools. Much of what lies before or beyond the observable universe may be permanently hidden behind a cosmic veil, unreachable not because of distance, but because of fundamental constraints in physics itself. The cosmic microwave background, for instance, represents the furthest point back we can observe, a boundary etched into space by the universe's earliest light. Beyond that, we enter a realm where empirical science begins to intersect with abstract mathematics and metaphysical speculation. Philosophically, this pursuit touches something deeply human. It asks not just where the universe came from, but why there is something rather than nothing. It challenges us to reconsider our place within a vast and possibly infinite cosmic structure, to ask whether our universe is a deliberate creation, a random event, or a natural consequence of timeless laws unfolding in endless variation. In the end, what came before the Big Bang may never be fully known. But that uncertainty is not a limitation, it is an invitation. An invitation to imagine, to calculate, to observe, to question, and to embrace the mystery that drives all scientific inquiry. We may never stand outside of time to view its true origin, but as long as we keep asking the question, we move closer to understanding not just the universe, but ourselves.